Hey, how's it going? Chris here. New project. I'm going to do a portable solar generator. And what inspired me to do this was the recent hurricane on the East Coast. And I decided I'd piece some things together here and get going with this project. Some stuff I already had and some new stuff that I got. One thing I did is I went down to Continental Battery here in town and picked up two Trojan Overdrive AGM uh, size 31 batteries. Got a really, really good deal on these uh, 12 volt batteries. And one thing I just learned is that AGMs are very specific on how much charge. Uh, you know, you can very easily overcharge an AGM battery. And I looked up the spec sheets on here, and it's like 14.8 volts charging. So I figured, well, okay, you know, I've got a 12-volt battery charger. And I got this about, shoot, I don't know, about four or five years ago, I think. Maybe about three years ago. Anyway, it has AGM button on here. And I hooked it up and charged the batteries with it checked it with the meter and it got up to 15 point what was it 15.4 volts which was way too high which causes gassing on the AGM battery and of course they're sealed you don't want that to happen I was like crap you might have to buy a, a new charger now I also had my 15 year old one the Schumacher one which is a 6 amp or 4 amp or 2 amp, whatever you want to put on there, microprocessor controlled, but it's a little bit older technology. And I hooked this dog up, put it on slow charge with the turtle there, and it's, it's maintaining right now, by the way. And these things were already charged up, and I didn't hurt it with the other charger, but I monitored the voltage of what was coming out of the charger into the batteries, and it, it got up to 14.89, which is about perfect for charging these AGMs. And right now, it's maintaining at a perfect voltage, 13.3. So, <laughs> sometimes older is better. <clears throat> now, for the inverter, I got a pretty good deal on this Ames pure sine wave power inverter 600 watt continuous to 12 volt and has a surge to 1200 and I've already tested this out with my oscilloscope check this out I'll show you a picture here alright as you can see it was a definitely a pure sine wave really good solid little unit I mean just piddle farting with it around just to see what it can do um, the fan has auto shut off and shut on which I really like I, some of these inverters you turn on and the the, it, the fan just remains on this one doesn't see I just turned it on no sound pretty slick little unit but I'm not sure if I want to use a 600 or go up to a continuous 1200 one if I do a 1200 watt portable solar generator it'd probably be a little bit more practical I don't want to be able to run an air conditioner or a vacuum cleaner or anything that has a high current draw I just want something for like emergency solar power backup and I don't know if 600 is going to do it 600 is not bad but I'm thinking I may do a 1200 and if I I may keep this, and I got a buddy who has a uh, is a weather chaser, and he's been egging me to do a project for his truck. So I may sell him this one if I if I decide to go with a 1200 watt continuous. But uh, and lastly, I <laughs> pulled up my old EP Solar Tracer 30 amp MPP solar charge controller, and to see if it would work. And I rigged up some. Uh, six gauge welding cable fabricated those and hooked it up I haven't run this in probably three years 
and tested out a new cat 5 or cat 6 cable on the MT5 meter and lo and behold everything came up so I may use this I mean it's an MPPT this is also good for 24 volts too if I want to do a 24 volt inverter instead of a 12 volt one I can do that but I'm, I'm thinking the 12 volts a little bit more practical for like emergency situations uh, and this charger is a 12 amp I want to incorporate this in a in a box I'm going to put these inside a like a husky you know tote thing with wheels you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's and um, you know fancy it up all real good but 12 volt for emergency backup as long as it's under or around 1,000 watts is, is practical. So I'm going to reuse this. One thing on here is that the negative battery terminal, I stripped out the <clears throat> screw in there, but I found that if you put the negative battery cable into the load negative side, they're all tied in together electrically, so it doesn't make any difference. It works just fine. And here is where you put the solar... PV panels inputs in and I got with Renogy Solar on a couple of 100 watt panels and I'm going to do a uh, solar suitcase it's going to be a 200 watt solar suitcase most of them are like 100 bucks or I'm sorry 100 watts and that's just not practical for <laughs> I'm going to do a 200 watt solar suitcase and save a buttload of money because those solar suitcases are really expensive and I said well heck I'm just going to make my own for less than 250 bucks or something so all right guys I guess these are really 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 good batteries I got a smoking hot deal on them and I'm pretty happy that uh, my buddy down there at Continental Battery hooked me up with two of these I was just gonna get one but the price he quoted me I said well shoot I'm just gonna get two of them in that case and if I ever want to do a 24 volt system I have the capability of doing that so kinda glad I got two Two is better than one, and one is none. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, just wanted to give you a heads up on this new project I'm working on here, and uh, stay tuned. All right, have a good one. Later.